from a distance of 4.26 billion miles, much about Makemake remains a mystery. But here are some things you might not know. Makemake is a trans-Neptunian object, a dwarf planet orbiting the Sun in the Kuiper Belt region together with fellow dwarf planets Pluto, Eris and Haumea. The dwarf planet is large enough and bright enough to be studied by a high-end amateur telescope. It takes about 305 Earth years for this dwarf planet to make one trip around the Sun. Makemake spins on its axis once every 22.5 hours, with a day just shorter than Earth's. Observations have found evidence of frozen nitrogen on Makemake's surface. Frozen ethane and methane have also been detected on the surface. Astronomers also found evidence of tholins which are molecules that form whenever solar ultraviolet light interacts with substances such as ethane and methane. They usually cause a reddish-brown color. The dwarf planet may develop a very thin atmosphere, most likely made of nitrogen when it is closest to the Sun. With a diameter of about 880 miles, Makemake is about two-thirds the size of Pluto. It is only three times as long as the Grand Canyon. As for the existence of life, the surface of Makemake is extremely cold. So it seems unlikely that life could exist there. The discovery of Makemake and Iris forced the International Astronomical Union to reconsider the definition of a planet and to create the new group of dwarf planets. And that's why Pluto isn't classified as a planet anymore. A planet has to orbit the Sun, have enough mass that its gravity forces it into a round shape and clear its immediate space neighborhood of other objects. Iris, Makemake, Pluto and Haumea fail to meet all three criteria in one way or another. In 2015, astronomers using NASA's Hubble Space Telescope discovered a tiny object orbiting Makemake. Yep, you're correct, that was a moon. Astronomers nicknamed it MK2. The moon was seen approximately 13,000 miles from the dwarf planet and its radius is estimated to be about 50 miles. 